Hello YouTube, this is One-Legged uh, Prepper and I wanted to talk to you today about floods, extreme heat, and drought. And as always, I'm going to give you my few part warning on um, emergencies. First of all, the government is not there to help you. They're there to maintain governance. So they may help, may talk to your mayor, but they are not there to help you. And don't expect help from nonprofits. You have to uh, be your own help, be your own rescue. And that's why I recommend having a good first aid kit. And if you need a good first aid kit, I recommend you uh, give my buddy Forrest a call and say, hey Forrest, the one-legged prepper said, if I use promo code one, as in the number, leg prep. He said, you give me 10% off. And for us to be like, yeah, we'd be more than happy to give you 10% off. So if you need a good uh, medical kit, including things that we're going to be talking about, like rehydration salts and all that, I recommend you talk to my friend Forrest at Refuge Medical and they will get you uh, hooked up with everything you need from first aid kits. And remember, one, leg, it, leg prep gets you 10% off. Okay, today we are talking about extreme heat. Uh, watch for extreme heat means the conditions are right for a very, very hot day. And a warning means that warm weather is here. And uh, you need to do something about it. So what you need to do is close the drapes and shades. And if there's no air conditioning, get to a basement. Drink plenty of water, bring in the pets, never leave pets or kids in a car. Repeat that, never leave pets or kids locked in a hot car. You will be going to jail for both. You stay indoors. Avoid salt. If you can, go to where there's air conditioning. But I recommend not. It's better to go in your basement and chill out there because it'll be about 10 degrees difference and you will feel cooler. Because um, it's like the situation with the kid prepper. My ex-wife will crank the AC down to 64 degrees. And my son will come here and it'll be 70, 80 degrees in the house. And he literally has to walk around with a fan going on all the time. And you know about the 64 degree rule. If your house falls below 64 degrees, you need a hat. Because you won't be able to sleep. But when I was married, I couldn't control my ex-wife. And now that's why we're not married. But anyway... What she does in her kingdom is her thing. I just don't want to pay that electricity bill. Postpone all outdoor activities. Dress in like clothes and colors. You don't want to be going out when it's 110 in a black suit. Ask me how I know. I did it in college. Business conference in um, Orlando. Walked outside wearing a black suit. Not a bright idea. Avoid physical labor between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and give your pets plenty of cold water. Heat issues. Things your body will tell you that it is not happy with the heat. Cramps. Confusion and dizziness. Fatigue and fading. Dark urine, which is a sign of dehydration. Headache, nausea, having sweating. 
pale skin, rapid heartbeat. If you uh, feel these experience, get help, call 911 right away. Get somebody there to help you. You're probably here um, in um, heat exhaustion. And then with extreme heat comes a year like we've had. I had planned to shoot a cooking video every weekend, but we've been stuck in one of the worst droughts and I'm just afraid to burn anything. You want to save as much water as possible. Check the plumbing fixtures for leaks. Limit your sprinkler time and collect rain in buckets. What to do during a drought? Restrict water. Take short showers. Don't waste water. Be careful with campfires. No smoking. Drought also causes dehydration and avoid activities outdoor as much as possible. You see my neighbors do it. They'll be out having a smoke and they'll flick the cigarette. Why on my side of the driveway, I don't know. But, um, Uh, third thing we're going to discuss today is wildfires. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the fire cannot spread. You want to make sure all the flammable fuel is away. And be ready if a fire gets out of control have a water and bucket and ways to put out the fire. You want to keep ashes in a metal can for two days, let them cool down. Chemicals and oily rags can combust, so you're going to want to keep them in a uh, metal lidded can. Make sure the car is gassed up if you need to get out. Fire extinguisher, easy access to. Teach kids fire safety, teach them how to use fire extinguishers. Shut off natural gas. Clean roof and gutters. Number two, what to do during wildfire. Know how to use a fire extinguisher. Got the garage door closed. Shut off the power. Have a go bag in the car. Reason why you want to shut the power off is if the um, firemen have to come and fight a fire, they're not um, dealing with any type of electricity. Although I will say for the firemen, they will come and rip your meter out uh, if there's a fire. Wear protective clothes. Have good maps of your area and know of at least three ways out of town. Practice your escape routes. Number three, if you're in a car, roll up the windows, park away from trees and bushes. If you're burned, call 911 or have a first aid kit. Uh, like I said, our friends at Refuge Medical, they have a burn dressings in most of their kits. One leg prep gets you 50%, I'm sorry, not 50. Uh, one leg prep gets you 10% off. Just call my buddy Forrest and give him a promo code, one leg prep, and um, He'll get you hooked off with 10% off the whole order. And with you getting 10% off, that's um, a steal already because I know their markup isn't that much. And they would rather give you a good medical kit than to write up a profit, especially on garbage. 
So um, Refuge Medical has burn dressing. Again, promo code when they prep. If you evacuate, don't go back till it's safe and the all clear has been given. If you um, evacuate, you should really have your go bag in the car with the essentials that you need for at least three days. And then I would find some place in another town, a hotel, motel, just to wait till everything cools down. Okay, and then you need to keep watch over your pets and service animals. Make sure they go with you. You know, I didn't realize how risky it was having pets and animals till I did the series. And I'm kind of grateful I don't have any. But um, to those who love Fluffy and Kitty, my hats are off to you. I would love to have a big, dumb golden lab as a, a friend or any type of Labrador because they're such a tame dog, especially around kids. But um, my neighborhood is um, a difficult place to have a dog. And then um, leave your home. Your life is more important and valuable than your house. Any of these situations happen, it's always better that you get out. Well, as always, YouTube, this is One-Legged Prepper. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, please um, share this with your friends and family. Drought, wildfire, and um, extreme heat. You're going to have more extreme heat than drought and wildfire, but it's very, very important that you realize how dangerous seas are. Well, as always, YouTube, this is One Legged Prepper saying God bless. As One Legged Prepper saying, I'm out of here. Have a great day.